Hey there, I'm Alex. I have a quick one for you today. So a few weeks ago, I showed you how you could use Nuke's view system uh, to keep different streams of different versions, grades, look dev within one comp instead of having to separate them into different scripts. So today I'm gonna show you how to do something similar or something actually exactly like that, but uh, through an expression instead of using views, right? So let me, let me get straight into it. So what I have here is let's consider this is our plate, right? So in a constant, it's an HD in white. And then I am adding uh, an asset, right, to what we're going to call our three different streams, right? And then what we have here is a switch, right? It's just a standard switch that is expression linked to this wedge switch that I've created. It's nothing really. It's just uh, it's just a slider, so nothing too crazy here. And you're going to expression link that to your switch, right? So the, the, the name of this node is important, and you'll see why in a, mo in a moment. So we have our three... Uh, streams, right? So if going further down, because uh, when it goes through the switch, of course, it turns into one stream again. Going further down, what I have here is different grades. So again, the same comp with three different grades, and then they're all hit with different f reformats, right? Uh, and again, they go into the switch again, and if I go ahead and open my wedge switch here and view through our last switch in the comp, what you'll see is that you can just cycle through what, what would be the views in the other in the other video, right? So that way you can you have full control over your different streams, but you're not touching the view system at all. So let's say we're happy with our red comp here. Let's check the green. So maybe th this is why it's, it's good that you can just split it that way, because that way, let's say we want to go ahead and transform our sphere here so that it sits inside the frame. Oh, not that, but the dot. And get rid of that and then again I'm going to switch now to our second uh, to our third view here and I'm going to do the same for this one so I'm just going to add a transform and I'm going to make sure that sits within the bounce okay so now if we look here and we cycle through we have basically three different what would be different comps or different trees right but they're all living within one tree but they're just separated by these uh, switches right so that way um, you don't if you ever needed to update one asset and a plate or any you know any any sort of um, any other thing that you need to bring to the comp, you just do it in one script and then it just lives there for all the other and it'll auto populate for the rest so how does this work if we were to just render through our switch here what we're going to get is whatever the, the switches are set to, right, is what we're going to render. So if we set it at zero, we're, no matter how hard we try, it's always just going to render a red stream unless we go ahead and switch it, right? So the wedge switch here controls all the switches. So anytime you need to, um, to do another change that only affects one of the streams, all you need to do is make a copy of the switch, paste it, and the expression will, of course, be already connected, okay? So that's why you want to have... A control and then the switches uh, standalone. <clears throat> so, okay, how can we make this render correctly? So, like I said, it, this is all going through an expression, and the expression is what I have down here. Where do we use that expression, though? The expression, if you remember, when you create a write node, there is always a Python tab, right? And in the Python tab, we can set all sorts of expressions here to help us, and in that's in this case what I'm using. So, if I go ahead and open my first uh, write node here and I check the Python tab, I have the expression that you're looking at down here set in the before render, right? So I've, it, what it's doing is it's essentially telling the wedge switch for the, we, for the node web sw wedge switch, I want the which value to be set to zero, right? And if we check our second one here, it's gonna be set to one, and for our third one, it's gonna be set to two, right? Because those are the values, if, if we go here in our switch again, those are the values that we're using. We're using zero for red, one for green, and two for blue. So, okay, if, if I go ahead now, even though our switches are set to, uh, to the third uh, stream here, and sometimes the, the label doesn't update, you can just change the frame. <clears throat> there you go, and it'll update. So if you go now into the right node, right? And, uh, and go render, Right? If we do that now, you'll see that even though it was set to blue, we are getting our red output. I'll do the same for the green, so you can see it in action. So we get a re green render, and same for the blue one. Right? So I'm going to render that now. There you go. So I have, we have our three different renders. 
However, what happens when we try to render all of them at once? So if I select all my right, all my all my right notes here, and I'm going to say render selected right notes, and I'm going to say continue. Now, what you see is it's oh, it's defaulting to one of the expressions, right? And of course, that's very annoying, but it has a very simple solution. Uh, what you need to do is you need to select all your right notes, and once again, go to render, uh, sorry, render selected right nodes. And now we're going to select the render using frame server and hit OK. And what you'll see is in our frame server here, uh, every right node is being treated as a separate process. So the expressions are not fighting themselves, which is why we get the proper output now. So that's the solution. I'm sure if you send this to the farm, because they're going to be separated as well, it's not going to be an issue. But if, if you do get issues, it, it's as simple as just rendering each one at a time instead of all at the same time. Uh, but you, I, I don't think I've ever had a problem in, in any of the farms that I've worked in. So it should work for you. So again, it's very easy to set up. You can copy the switch and use it it's kind of like we were using the, the split views in the views system video that I covered. And you don't have to limit yourself to three. You can have as many as you want. And it's as simple as making sure that for your new write notes that you set the expression to the proper value of the switches. And that's kind of it. Just remember, use the wet switch as your as your controller here. So if we look at the switch here again, that way you can just cycle through what would be the views in the other video, right? Um, so uh, yeah, I wanted to share that with you and hopefully you find it helpful. Cheers.